On an island, that's how more than two dozen Franklin County residents described their neighborhood after being cut off from emergency services, and it's all because of this bridge. People who live past this bridge have been fighting but failing to get it repaired for years, and now they say enough is enough. 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell is working for you to find out who's responsible for what residents say could be a matter of life or death. A drive down Ridgeview Street in Franklin County will take you to a community that neighbors say is like family, a place Judy Hutchins has called home for nearly three decades. It's just a small little community, a few people, and now it's grown to about 30 people. But now she's worried that community will be cut off. Don't want to live in fear and you just hope every day nothing happens. There's no safety on this bridge whatsoever. This more than 100 year old bridge is the only way in. The weight limit now dropped to four tons. That will support the average car, but won't support delivery trucks, school buses, ambulances, or fire trucks. As of this letter in 2016, Franklin County Public Safety cut residents off from emergency vehicle access. Are you worried about what could happen? Oh yeah, if there's anything really. How can I get somebody to come over and help me? Concerns they've witnessed firsthand. These pictures from 2018 show firefighters having to run a hose across the bridge to reach a fire. And these taken in June show first responders forced to roll a stretcher about half a mile down the road and back for a medical emergency. And I'm thinking if it's life and death, can they make it? I mean, that's that's just not right. It's just not right. Lewis Hutchins is leading the charge for change. His parents live across the bridge and he's a civil engineer. It is beyond its, its lifespan and yes, it, it needs to go for sure. There's confusion over who's actually responsible for the bridge. Lewis claims it's Norfolk Southern, which built and maintains it. But in a statement, the company tells 10 News the facts concerning the history and origins of the bridge are unclear. And Norfolk Southern does not believe it has a legal obligation to take any action beyond what is necessary to protect its tracks. It's their bridge. It's their responsibility. The callousness, I guess, is, is what is most concerning is it. You know, they'll come do minor fixes or repairs just to keep it in service, but there's a bigger issue that they are refusing to address. Major upgrades certainly won't happen overnight, but neighbors fear their lives are hanging in the balance. Help us when we need help. Fighting to get the wheels turning. The railroad's a big corporation and we're small potatoes, but I feel like the people on our road matter. Before a neighborhood becomes an island. In Franklin County, Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you. And you can read that full statement from Norfolk Southern on our website, WSLS.com. We've also reached out to Franklin County Public Safety and the Board of Supervisors, but so far we haven't heard back.